huge. WhatsApp was blazing. But guess what? That was just the beginning of the story. Today we're here to celebrate 5G. And the story that 5G brings with it is amazing. You saw it, just the, I think the snippet of it outside. But right now what I'd like to do is to, to bamboozle you. To shock your mind and to take you to a whole different place. To experience things that you've never seen before. When I was preparing for this launch, I sat there in the back and I said, is this really possible? Can this stuff here be done? Well, ladies and gentlemen, to actually show us the future of communication, please welcome the Managing Director of Airtel Uganda, Mr. Manoj Murali. Big round of applause as he makes his way. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for accepting our invite and uh, come here on this momentous occasion of our 5G launch uh, in Uganda. And I'm sure you are going to have a very, very good experience uh, during this launch session today. And uh, sit back and enjoy. Today we have uh, some VIPs who are not among you. So I will start off uh, by inviting uh, the Honorable Minister of uh, ICT, Dr. Chris Bariamunsi, onto the stage, please. Uh, join me. <laughs> Welcome, Irene. Thank you. Uh, for thank you, Manoj, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to be here and to see the spectrum we assigned put to use. Uh, uh, Honorable Minister and uh, uh, ED of the UCC. Thank you for honoring us with your presence this evening. I'm excited to talk to your hologram versions. At the outset, I, let me extend our gratitude to you for all your support, including the allocation of 5G spectrum. This has helped us to launch uh, Uganda's first 5G network. Honorable Minister, what's your vision for the digital transformation of Uganda, and how can Airtel Uganda help in this? Uh, thank you very much. As you know, I am the Minister for ICT which is responsible for facilitating digital transformation in this country. And therefore, we are looking at the digital and financial inclusion. We would want every person in this country to be part of this journey. And we are looking at the ensuring connectivity in the whole country, access to fast internet, and ensuring that from corner to corner, people are connected, people are part of this transformation. And definitely uh, an organization like uh, Airtel and other telecom companies play a very crucial role in uh, deepening this transformation. And uh, at an event like this where we are launching 5G, it means fast internet, fast connectivity, efficiency in the way we do our things. And therefore, this adds a lot of value to our vision of ensuring that there is a digital inclusion in our country. Thank you, Minister. My next question is to Irene. Dear Irene, you have been a core part of the journey to launch this network. What are your expectations from us? Uh, and how do you think it will help ordinary Ugandans? 
Uh, thank you, Manoj. As the Honorable Minister has pointed out, digital access is not just a tool. It is actually an opportunity for transformation, an opportunity to provide high-speed connectivity to SMEs, to homes, to schools, to different institutions at speeds similar to fiber. So since I witnessed the 2,000 milestone of best stations that took 4G across Uganda, I'm looking forward to seeing 5G in every part of Uganda so that we can harness every opportunity of the fourth industrial revolution. Thank you for your inputs. Uh, I would tell everyone that it has taken us less than 30 days uh, from the date of allocation of spectrum to this launch. This has been possibly the fastest launch of 5G anywhere in the world. Now I invite both of you to physically join me on the stage. Thank you for supporting the agenda. Okay, thank you, thank you. Can we have a louder round of applause? Can I hand over to the MC now? No? You want my hologram? Um, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's give a huge round of applause to Mr. Manoj, Managing Director to Airtel. Wow. So how many of you can say that in your life you've ever witnessed a live hologram? Put your hands up. Put your hands up and say all of us. Now let's give a round of applause to Airtel. But, but what type of speed is that in less than 30 days from getting your license to actually launching? And let me, let me, you know, that's amazing because if you look at the hard work in terms of technical, in terms of back end, in terms of making sure that the staff is there. In fact, instead of me talking, I, I've got Rajesh here. Rajesh, who happens to be the network director. Rajesh, tell me about the process. What went through this entire process? Hello, everybody. This is the 5G moment, and you know it has to be fast and furious. <laughs> you cannot compliment the regulator without any speed in 5G rollout. So we did the fastest rollout of 5G, and believe me, today 50 sites are live in Kampala. And my fellow MC, you know, he was telling that, how can you manage it, boss, when there is a will, when there is a strong regulator and mystery behind us, when they gave the green signal, it was a race, we started. And today we are here within less than a month. It involved importing the equipment, taking the equipment from customs to our warehouse, and then, then taking that equipment to our sites, launching it on the towers. We did everything to please you guys because you are most precious to us, our customers. Thank you so much. Wow. That's what they call Airtel innovation. From the get-go, every single time that Airtel touches anything, they're first in the class. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our guests of honor who are walking in live to the room now. The Minister for ICT and the Executive Director of UCC. Big round of applause to them. Please take your seats. Let's welcome them. Wow. Never seen this before. This is what they call razzmatazz. Hey! MD, Mr. Manoj, I think at this moment, now that we have our VIP guests in the room, we can move back to the program. We have a few speeches, and then we'll move on to the true unveiling. So I hand back over to you. Honorable Minister of ICT, Do Honorable Dr. Chris uh, Bariamunsi, 
uh, the ED of UCC, Irene, distinguished business leaders, distinguished dignitaries, ATL staff present, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, good evening to all of you. I am privileged to be in the moment when this country is witnessing the launch of Uganda's first 5G network, ATL 5G. Honorable Minister, the government of Uganda has undertaken sector reforms for the digital transformation of Uganda as envisaged in the National Development Plan 3. Honorable Minister, I am proud to report that today is a huge milestone that should be etched in the digital history of Uganda. In December 2022, we started testing with 11 sites in and around Kampala, and upon completion of the tests, we were 5G ready uh, by 15th February 2023 awaiting the allocation of the 5G spectrum. When the spectrum was allocated, we have been able to commission 50 5G sites in Kampala with a robust plan to roll out across major cities in the country. Honorable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, and Irene, we have been able to commission Uganda's first 5G sites in one week. I would like to ask the teams and partners involved in this project to stand up for recognition. What does this mean for the digital transformation of Uganda? With Uganda's first 5G network, it's now possible to deliver over 1 Gbps, that is 1000 Mbps speed in the transformative sectors of the economy such as education, health, manufacturing, even commercial agriculture. Students can now share an anatomy class with better live streaming, high definition videos and transform the way STEM and other disciplines are taught. Atl Uganda's 5G network will make it possible for manufacturers, even farmers, to build condition and process monitoring networks. This will improve the productive capacity of the economy. 5G is also known as air fiber because we are able to deliver similar speeds as the fiber to home. The high speeds delivery delivers very good experience in the way people connect, consume entertainment, gaming, and do business online. Honorable Minister, 5G joins another ATL first in the recent past that include the launch of eSIM, OLT, that ATL Uganda has pioneered in this sector. We shall continue to challenge ourselves to innovate and give Ugandans a reason to imagine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a huge round of applause to Mr. Mura M Manoj Murali. So Manoj, I, I wanted to, to hand over this responsibility, but I'm going to take it myself because this is somebody who's very dear to my heart. She happens to be the regulator of this entire sector. All your partners and everybody who's come to witness